Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to migrate your site from version 3 to version 4. So as you know, version 4 is a complete remake of the WPLMS. When you update your theme, uh, you are going to see the welcome screen like this and it updating the theme will not have any impact on your site so this is my uh, site where I am testing the update so here I have the courses the profiles the courses so they all appear in the same fashion as they were earlier before updating the theme so here I have updated the theme and and all the settings uh, remain as it is in my uh, existing WPLMS site which is on uh, still on version 3 so next is when I migrate away from the welcome page I see a notification to install two, pl two plugins which is the YBP and the WPLMS now we can simply go ahead and activate and install these plugins so I have already installed them I just need to activate them here so once activated if you go ahead and visit your site there will be no changes everything will, will work as it is now if you open the dashboard you are going to see a notification to configure the YBP which is the social network framework for BuddyPress and you will see a new menu item which is YBP and here we have the member profiles, member cards, course layout, course card and you can also activate groups private messaging and friend connections you can also activate them from here so uh, you will also notice that we have a uh, message that to migrate the 4.0 framework we need to deactivate the following plugins five course module custom types short course dashboard assignment and front end so these are the core plugins of the WPLMS framework which will which will need to deactivate as now we have installed the WPLMS plugin and it is automatically detecting that we have these plugins installed so it is not uh, coming into effect so so before uh, running the setup wizard of YBP it is very important that we first deactivate the uh, course module custom types and let the uh, WPLMS plugin uh, with the 4.0 version to come into effect because if we click on setup wizard you will see that we have uh, the following uh, versions and here it is asking us to enable the features and in the content part it is importing the uh, the layouts and the uh, and the other things as the WPLMS 4.0 plugin is not currently active it is not showing the option to import the course layout and course card and other remaining settings similarly in the accessibility we do not see any uh, setting for the course directory so we are going to head over to the plugin section and we now have to manually deactivate these plugins wipe course module custom types you will also notice that before updating your theme to 4.0 you would not see you would not see a deactivate plugin button but as you upgrade your theme to 4.0 you'll see this deactivate link So once the selected plugins are deactivated, if we now open the YBP setup wizard, we will see that we have a lot more options. Uh, these are the recommended plugins which we have currently upgraded to 4.0 version. So let's begin with the setup. Here we can activate the uh, features. and here now we see that we have the course layout card and course directory import and then we have the accessibility option now the WPLMS 4.0 is built into keeping mind that you 
may be using the 4.0 version with a with another theme and you may not want public user profile member directories group directory so you can simply disable them from here all these settings are also available in the ybp settings panel so there's no worry that uh, you cannot disable them uh, afterwards so we do recommend disabling of public activities which you can simply click and disable and then you can complete this so once the uh, setup wizard is complete is it is going to take you to your profile page this is an important step however uh, you can simply close this page and the setup wizard will be gone and now we see another notification to migrate to WPLMS 4.0 so right now the uh, the WPLMS your WPLMS site is still using the 3.x version so now coming back to the uh, settings part we do recommend verifying the settings so we go to birdiepress and we see that all the settings are checked that we enabled since the WPLMS 4.0 runs on uh, on a different technology we recommend enabling all of the uh, features to get the best output and you can simply uh, verify these that we have we now have a members directory and a groups directory so these are pretty much the old format which we are looking at so now to migrate to the 4.0 we first need to we first need to click on the migrate now notice now once we click on the migrate now and we load the home page we see that there is no change all the courses and everything appears in the same but you'll notice that we are no longer logged in and the and for this button to work we also need to go to the YBP settings and enable the uh, global login so important thing to note here is that this login is now optional you can actually run the entire WPLMS framework on a single page which I'm going to cover in another tutorial if you have an existing site and you want the uh, features of WPLMS you do not have to convert your entire site into WPLMS which was the older uh, way which is the WordPress way of working the WPLMS 4.0 uses the headless CMS framework so it can run standalone on a single page as well so right so we enable the global login and we can also synchronize WP login with YBP login so we are using a uh, different framework for login which runs mostly on the front end but you can synchronize so if you're logged in to wordpress and you load this page it is automatically going to log you in with the same credentials that you are using in the wordpress however if you do not check this check uh, you do not enable this synchronized wp then you can log in with any user which you want so let's just check this and we have the uh, So now you can see that we have a login and when we click on it it shows the uh, some notifications so important point to note is that the notice the messages which are appearing here you can customize them from the YBP settings panel in the login screen term sign in title and all these things you can configure from the from here and you can log in with your email ID and the other sign in options. So now if we enable the synchronized WP with YBP, you'll see that we are automatically logged in. Right, so, so the login will happen after one few milliseconds because when the page is loaded, the lo login will be triggered by the JavaScript. And here we see that we have a uh, menu appearing. 
so now the uh, now there are two menus which the ybp registers which you can go to appearance and in the menus section you will see two new menu locations which is the logged in drop down menu and the profile menu so the logged in drop down menu is the one which appears when you click on your image and it appears like this and then there is the uh, profile menu which appears when you load the ypp 4.0 profile so right now we have the old uh, 3.x version profile you can simply go to the customize and in the layouts we can select the profile layout as blank group layout as blank directory layout as blank and course layout as blank in order for the uh, WPLMS 4.0 templates to apply so right now if you see that as soon as I applied it automatically logged me in and opened the uh, profile here and here you can see that we have the header and the footer and we have the uh, courses all the courses which are registered on the site appear in the manage courses section so this is the area where the entire of the WPLMS is actually working and we have the messages and the and WooCommerce shop and friends and uh, we have the forums so forums is not loading currently because it requires another plugin which is the vibe help desk so we need to activate that as well from the uh, plugins option so while i activate that plugin let's just check how all this is uh, working so in the vibe bp we'll go to the member profiles and here we see a default member profile being registered and if you can edit it with elementor so you can design this entire profile with the fields which are registered in the uh, buddypress user field section and this is how it appears similarly we have a member card so now let's check the members directory and now that we set the uh, directory layout as blank we see the new updated directory as you can see here and we can simply edit this page so important point to note is that we now need elementor to ele to edit all these uh, directories so by default the buddypress will restrict the elementor from editing any of the directories because buddypress is loaded first so you can disconnect the uh, directory pages from the settings body press and here if we disconnect the page first and then edit with elementor now you will be able to edit this page using elementor and once you have uh, custom done all the changes you can reconnect this page in the body press settings so here we have the course directory so it has all the filters that uh, were previously not available and we can edit this uh, directory in elementor and you can make the changes accordingly so just do not worry about the loading sign here this is because the react script is still initializing if we view source the so you'll find that it has content for the for the for seo purposes as well so here you can see that it, it is it is loading few uh, content so loading a list of courses actually and if we view the single course you will see that it is loading a different layout which was imported 
go to the dashboard and in dashboard in YBP you can look for the course layouts here we have two course layout and you can edit the course layout in Elementor and you can adjust various components which are appearing in this Elementor in this layout so here you may notice that we are we are, there is a course curriculum section which appears at the bottom so this is because we have enabled this setting that to show the uh, course curriculum to show the course curriculum below the course description so we just disable it and enable this setting and this is how it works so so with little css we can also fix this uh, block here so that it moves around with the screen now we have the color customization which you can go to the customize and here in the ybp settings you will see that there are three sections which is ybp general settings so you can disable this entire header which is appearing in the profile and you can also disable the footer and then there is the uh, light color scheme so if you notice that we have the dark and light mode available so you can uh, set all the different colors which are used in the in the uh, in the demo from the light colors and from the dark color scheme so by default the dashboard will pick the uh, student dashboard widgets if the user role is student if the user role is ins instructor then it is going to pick the widgets which are set in the uh, instructor dashboard but if in case of administrator the role is administrator so it is not going to pick the widgets for the instructor so for that we have to we have to go to the appearance uh, widget section and here we will see that we have a global uh, sidebar which is ybp member dashboard and in, in and we have also built a weather app so you can create your own uh, widgets as well so you can integrate any widget and now when we uh, and now when we load the dashboard and users can easily adjust these widgets or drag and drop and replace the and users can update their profiles directly from this uh, members area so that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching